How's it going everybody and welcome to the moving platform here outside of the parks at probably one of the more requested places we get to explore uh, out of the parks and that is the Magic Castle gift shop. There's actually I think there's two maybe even three of these. This is the one over here on 192 Earlo Bronson uh, closer to my house but probably about five miles from Disney property but we're gonna run in here and just see what all sorts of stuff we can find in here so let's go explore. First thing I notice is there's clothes clothes everywhere there's clothes everywhere everything you can imagine this is just the kids stuff we got all the adult stuff back here too so just clothes everywhere so we got a table of uh photo albums here so i mean if you are someone who actually gets prints of your photos uh they have photo albums here which i'm holding one of them they're actually not terrible quality they're nice thick binding the paper is nice and this one is $10. There's one up here for eight bucks, but um, I think it looks a little bit smaller. This one holds 200 photos. If you're someone who gets a lot of photos printed, this is actually not a terrible deal because it seems to be of pretty good quality. All right, so just checking out some of their kids' clothes stuff here. Um, it actually is Disney brand um, stuff, and price-wise, you know, like this one's originally 13, it's on sale for 11. So it's not. This is not like a deep discount store. Especially when it comes to the actually Disney, um, you know, stuff. It's not like, it's not like a, it's not an outlet store. So if you're wanting to buy the official Disney stuff like this, you're, you're going to pay a relatively, some, some, you know, similar price to what you would find it somewhere else. All right, so looking at some of their water bottles here, which is something I always recommend if you're going to the parks, is to bring a water bottle with you. They've got various selections. They've got different characters here. They've got Star Wars. They've got a Deadpool. Uh, I think there's a Spider-Man. There's, there's some thermos ones over here that are less water bottle, more like coffee tumbler. But I'm holding one of the Deadpool ones here, and you can see it's $5. Um, but it's claimed to be durable, brake-resistant, and BPA-free. I mean, and it's a decent quality bottle. Um, I can squeeze in on the sides a little bit, which, you know, you wouldn't be able to do on a nicer bottle, but, you know, that doesn't really mean for the quality. It does have a flip top and it looks to be leak proof and it's for five bucks. So, I mean, you get what you pay for for five bucks, but it's not terrible. Right, so moving over here to their Disney coffee mugs area, this is the first place that I'm finding uh, a difference in quality. And that's with this mug right here. I don't know if you can hear that. It's very, very cheap. Uh, this would break even with if knocking it over on a countertop, probably. It definitely dropping it would break it. And it's it's on sale for, I think it was 13 Yeah, for $13. Now, that's a big cut from what you're going to buy in the parks. But you can get a much better quality mug in the parks for probably 20 so you again you get what you pay for very cheap that would break very easily but you get what you pay for 13 dollars versus 20 in the in the parks i would spend that extra seven dollars and get a better durable mug and honestly just have a better option of choice all right so moving over to the adult uh t-shirt area uh they have a lot of disney options of course i mean they've got Grumpy, Mickey, Minnie, uh, the Fab Five. They've got every character you can imagine. However, the, the question is the quality. The t-shirts are really, really like not very soft. They're very rough, very cheap feeling. And the vinyl press is, is, is just pressed on. This is gonna, the first time you wash it, this is gonna peel, this is gonna come off. So, and this shirt is, I uh, don't see it. Nope, there we go. I think I don't see a tag, but there it is. It's 13. So, again, you get what you pay for. Um, I mean, it's a cute shirt. You see these shirts like this style all in the parks. But, I mean, obviously, if it's for one trip, you're not going to care if it shrinks, which it's going to shrink terribly, and or if the vinyl comes off. That's definitely going to peel, and it's going to peel quick. As we get to the back of the store, it kind of becomes your typical Florida tourist cheap gift shop. Uh, you towels, uh, bags, and then we have luggage. We actually have luggage, like, uh, in 60 bucks for this one, but it's fairly big. So, I mean, and they've even got a bigger size here. And it's 
89, 90, $90 and it's bigger. So lots of different, you know, choices. But one thing I'm gonna point out here is, right here's the ponchos. Um, this exact poncho uh, sells at the dollar store for a dollar and they sell it here for four dollars. So there you go. That's the first kind of glowing like, really? They went and got these either at the dollar store or found a supplier that's blessed at the dollar store and sells them at four times the price. And I can tell you from experience with dollar store ponchos, this is gonna rip getting it out of the package. All right, so <laughs> just looking at some of the cheapish tourist, you know, gift shop stuff. I don't know what this is. Is this like a 3D poster? Like, oh, it's got kittens on it, so it's cute. But what, what exactly is it? Yeah, whatever it is, it's $11. So whatever it is, I don't know. It's like 3D or something. I don't know. It's weird. But it's 11 bucks. So I don't know. Would you pay $11 for this? I don't think I would, but... I don't know what it is. Is it a poster? Is it a is it like a placemat for you to eat on? What is it? I have no idea. And of course, uh, nothing says Florida gift shop like shells and sand in a bottle. And so here we have some actually some decent value. Um, we have magnets. Magnets. These are like three bucks a piece or so, and they got some good ones, some really good ones. Here you go. None of them say Walt Disney World. Just you know, notice that they'll say either say just say Disney. Uh, or like this one says Disney Dream. None of them say Walt Disney World because I don't think they can. I think that's the rule. But like this one, this is pretty nice. And it's like three bucks. So there you go. There you go. There are some cool things in here that you could buy for relatively cheap. If you've got people to buy for or if you are a magnet collector, like this is a pretty cool goofy magnet. It's only three bucks. I mean, so not everything in here is, you know, useless, pointless junk. This is actually pretty cool. And of course, what gift shop is a gift shop without Orlando stuff? We have uh, t-shirts, uh, we have a sweatshirt that we'll never wear here in Orlando ever because it never gets cold enough for something like this. But if you want a little sweatshirt with it says Orlando on it, it can be yours for $15. I mean, of course, it's Florida. It's a gift shop, so we've got to have a gator head. I mean, come on. <laughs> you can't have a Florida gift shop without having gator heads. This one in particular is $13, but. Okay, so this is the first uh, case of something that I've actually seen in a theme park being sold in a gift shop uh, outside of the parks. This mug is actually sold at Universal Islands of Adventure. It's a Captain America, uh, like helmet mug, I guess, head mug. But uh, I'm not sure how much it sells for in the parks, but here it sells for $10.99. So I def that's definitely cheaper. Now, it may not be the exact mug, but it's pretty close. And if you're wanting a uh, some Harry Potter mugs, uh, here's where you'll also notice some quality difference. Um, look at the color on these. See how green this one is and see how almost blue this one is? See how almost blue matches the blue from the Ravenclaw? So it just shows you these aren't the same products. They're knockoff products, but they are what they are. But the Slytherin mug is 10 bucks. So... Again, kind of like the Mickey mug over there, kind of cheaply made, probably would break relatively quickly, especially if you drop it. But uh, I can't no help but notice the difference in the color, this dark green and this light green, and they're right next to each other. Same product, how different they are in color. I love a good quality novelty shirt from a gift shop. I think this has to be my favorite. On my way out, I'm noticing they sell park tickets here. Yeah, no way. No way that's a real thing. Never buy these guys. Never, ever. That one might be okay. Never buy these. That's definitely, definitely not a real thing. All right, well, thank you guys for joining me here on the moving platform. Short video, short trip in here. Uh, overall, I have to say, um, I mean, it's... It's a Florida theme park gift shop. Everything is cheap, or che at least cheaper. Most of the stuff is probably junk, knockoff, you know, bad quality stuff. Um, I had to get out of there because they were actually kind of eyeballing me a little bit. I don't think they were happy about me filming in the store, but no one ever said anything to me, so I didn't say anything. But they especially didn't like it when I was talking about the, uh, the Disney tickets. Um, those are not real. 
Uh, if someone wants to sponsor one of those and send me 40 bucks, I'll come back here and buy that ticket and then film me going to the gates and trying to use it. I'm just putting that out there. If somebody wants to sponsor me with 40 bucks, I'll come back and buy that ticket and go and try and use it and see what the catch is, see if that ticket works. And then we'll come back here and demand our money back or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, overall, it's, it's a gift shop. Okay, it's got Disney stuff. It's got Universal stuff. None of it's authentic theme park merchandise. It's not an outlet. It's Chotsky's. It's magnets. It's keychains. It's shells and sand in a bottle. It's, it's, it's typical Florida gift shop junk. So you get what you pay for in there. Uh, if, you, if you're going in there to buy Disney merchandise for your family back home, they're going to know that you bought cheap crap. Now, I know it's the thought that counts, and that, that does matter. But if you think that they're going to think you got that in the parks, you, no. No. Because that's, that's that was mostly junk. So, but thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. And as always, watch your step. And don't buy $40 Disney tickets from gift shops. Don't do it.